Hi everyone, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, and I'm so happy to have finally gotten my hands on the Dragon Games Poppy O'Hare. I had been going to my local Walmart for weeks on end without finding her, and this weekend they finally had her in stock. So I scooped her up. The back of the box shows us her really cute artwork with her cute dragon. She does come with a dragon whose name is Brushfire, and Brushfire's dragon magic is fire breathing, which I thought every dragon did by default, but okay. And she's got a special heat armor defense and a cloud comer flying trick. Can't wait to see what that is all about in this movie, Dragon Games, that is coming out very soon. And here I've unboxed Poppy and she comes with her dragon and a doll stand and a comb and a ring that also doubles as a shield and a booklet about Dragon Games. Checking out the booklet first, you can see a picture of Brushfire as well as a picture of what a dragon arena looks like. On the flip side, the rules of Dragon Games and a little note from Poppy about how special Brushfire is. And here's Poppy up close. I love that smoky purple eyeshadow and I love those bright fuchsia lips. She looks gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. And I love that headdress with a poppy in the center. At least I assume that that flower is a poppy. What else would it be? And how the headdress looks like braids, like braided chain mail, braided chains that have loops that come down on either side. Again, as a nod to her heritage as the daughter of Rapunzel. Her hair is super gelled and stiff. And um, here I'm trying to exert as much force as I can with my fingers and it's not budging. Her outfit is also very cool. She's actually got pauldrons on, which is what I think they call that part over her shoulder. And then her necklace or chain collar looks like a bunch of uh, braided chain loops. And then I love that black shiny scaly fabric. I've also seen that on Melody Piper's vest and on um, Mira Shard's dress. And the belt has a scissor emblem on it and it's super convenient because you can fit her into the doll stand easily. And it's, uh, she's got on underneath that a flaring open skirt that is made of a transparent purple material. And the purple material has this cool design on it. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this design for you guys. Yeah, it looks like braids with poppy flowers hanging off of them, or just flowers. What do you guys think that looks like? Anyway, here are her tights, uh, purple diamonds on silver background changing to purple chevrons or stripes. And the coolest boots ever. I love how they did the boots in this whole line. These boots are lace-up boots. They're silver, scaly, and they have spikes near the ankles. And of course, a very high heel, as I'm showing you here from the back. Her dragon is super cute. It's purple with pink wings and pink horns. And the eyes remind me of the color of Poppy's eyes, sort of this giant large blue-green color. And the tail is a braid and it loops around Poppy's arm. Super cute. Poppy's wearing a van brace on one wrist with a scissor detail on it. Here I've rotated her arm around so you can see the other side. And next, let's look at her shield. It has the initial P on it for Poppy. And you can also see this little loop in the back where Poppy can insert her fingers and hold it as a shield. So here is every Poppy O'Hare doll that Ever After High has produced thus far from the left through the woods, Poppy, Ferris on Ice Poppy, the signature Poppy, and of course the new Dragon Games Poppy. I really like how consistent she looks across every doll. You just know that it's her, and she's gorgeous in every incarnation. And here she is with the other Ever After High Dragon Games dolls. I didn't include Mira shards because it doesn't really look like Mira is wearing armor. She's wearing a dress, but anyway, a great time to do some shout outs. Here's a shout out to Mira Rod and Rocco Notaro. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye for now.